Welcome back, guys. So we have another trash or retro game treasure to go over this month. Random mystery box of retro games. We've done a few of these videos, and really, I haven't had luck with these things. Look at all these excited mofos. Oh, look at these great games we got. Whatever, right? Well, I know some people are like, hey, man, this isn't for you, especially in my previous videos. The value's just not there. Myself, I prefer to pick and choose what I get, but I thought it would be interesting uh, like once or twice to get this damn thing. And I forgot to cancel this some bitch. It's one of those things. You have to email them and ask them to cancel. Mofos, you should just have a button on my account that says cancel. I want to cancel. Uh, I'm done. Because people are going to forget and you're going to send them this crap all the damn time. This thing's pretty pricey, in my opinion, for what I've gotten so far. These guys are so happy with all their, uh, all the stuff they got. Kind of nuts, man. But this thing, it's $35 a month, plus like, I think it's like seven or $8 shipping. So it comes out to a little over 40 bucks. You get three to five games. So we're gonna open this thing up, see what we got. I'll show a little gameplay. I'm not just gonna show you the cartridge. It's kind of stupid, right? But we're also gonna dig into the values as well. Price charting, we're gonna search there. And we're gonna look at sold listings on eBay to see what kind of value I got here, right? I got a pen ready to jot this stuff down. Um, we're gonna add it up, see what we got. You know, you go through your little list, uh, you know, make sure you only uh, select games for them to send you that you don't already own. So I've gone through that list quite a bit and we're good to go. So to be upfront, I've, you know, purchased a few of these boxes. I noticed just in December, they reached out to me after I've already received a couple boxes like, hey, uh, we want to send you, um, you know, some free boxes this kind of thing. And you know what? It's going to be just like a customer would get. It's, you know, makes it seem like it's not, you know, stuffed for a YouTuber or anything. I can't accuse them of doing that, but you never know. For me with a service like this, I will never accept a random assortment of stuff in a, a subscription box for free. I never responded to this email to them, but I, I found it kind of odd that the email that I use to order from these guys, as you see, I've ordered um, you know, unknowingly and knowingly a few times now, right? Uh, other than with these, what is it? This, this, uh, retro buck thing, the mega buck, um, where like, if people buy from like your little refer friend, you'll wind up getting one for free. I think I need one more, but you have to leave your account open. You can't skip or cancel. Otherwise the refer friend doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, they reached out to me. I never responded. I would never accept something like this for free to promote. We're going over this just like a normal customer, a paying customer. I paid for this freaking box. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's open this thing up. Um, I could already tell this box feels really light. And there's probably only a couple games in it. It's supposed to be three or five. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the... Uh, oh, I kind of cut into the cardboard, whatever. I throw these boxes away anyway. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm not going to show you either. There's some bubbles on there. Thanks for your subscription. Here's a few tips. Buy the games you want off of eBay or your local game store. All right. Bubble. Oh, that was freaking loud. A couple more bubbles. I should be keeping these. I ship stuff all the time. All right. I'm fingering these. I'm fingering them. I got three games. Two NES, one N64. Let me go ahead. I pulled out the N64 game. Not looking at it. And now we're looking at it. We got Goldeneye. Definitely, uh, that's a hit. That's a hit. That's that's a hit. This is probably one of the more valuable games that I've got from these guys, which you know is not really saying too much. 007, uh, Golden Eyes, you know, it's got a little bit of value. It's not a crazy value game. Wouldn't expect them to send anything crazy valued, but I, I just think this is one of the more valuable games they've sent me. Um, condition's not too bad. I'll show some close ups on this. Uh, labels got a little bit of wear, but acceptable. This is the kind of condition I would purchase um, when looking for games. So not not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and see what the price charting is. Their price uh, that they have listed. 007 and 64. Okay, uh, loose price. We're looking at about $22 according to them. Uh, we'll go ahead and check eBay sold pricings. Uh, GoldenEye. Let's take a look. I mean, I'm sure there's some people asking some crazy prices, 35, 38, $30. That's okay. We scroll down here. We don't care about what they're asking. We care about what has sold. So let's see. Price charting, we're at $22. Let's 
Uh, eBay pricing, we're hitting a little higher than that. Uh, 26 to 30, 32. Um, you know, condition does play a part in that. You know, some people will pay a little more if uh, things are pretty damn pristine. 25, 24. Um, we'll, we'll just, uh, we'll meet it in the, the middle and we'll just say 25 average on this one, um, between the two. No, not too bad. Not too bad. That's, that's a higher valued game, uh, than what I've normally got. So let's go ahead, take a look at the next game that we got. And it is, uh, it's an NES game, but it feels funny. So it's gotta be a Tengen game. Yeah. The Vindicators. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with this one, but yeah, I'm always happy with some uh, Tengen stuff, I guess. Caution, do not store cartridge in hot or cold places. Vindicators. We got to find that one out. What's Vindicators going for? Vindicators NES. <laughs> Rick and Morty Vindicators. Ah, $5. Five dollars. Buy it now. That was the last sold. Five dollars came with the uh, slip cover too. The little sleeve. They came with those uh, cardboard slip covers. Uh, we're looking at about five dollars. Not. You can't keep in mind a uh, uh, complete in box. About five dollars. Five to seven. Seven dollars on the high end. Nine dollars with the uh, with the nice sleeve there. Uh, we're we're just gonna say five dollars. Um, we'll check price charting now. Vindicators, loose price, six thirty. So we're just gonna go. We're 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 hitting it at five. We're saying five dollars. We're at thirty dollars value for this forty-ish dollar box. Next and final game, Vindicators. And that's okay. The condition though, um, got a little booger or poop on there, right right over here. Uh, yeah, that's kind of gross. <gasps> Pins. Pins look clean as fuh. Let me look at the pin. I didn't look at the pins on uh, Goldeneye. Mm. They're pretty clean. Uh, but the, the pins on Vindicators is, is clean. The cartridge is really clean other than the little shit stains on the bottom. It's okay. We'll, we'll wipe that off. But there we go. Next and final game. There's only three in this box. They got me this time. Three. I think most of the time I only get three anyway. Because my, my uh, owned list that they go through is pretty... Uh, pretty narrow-minded like I just want um I want top of the line shit I okay I'm not looking at my camera but I'm looking at the back of this and this game looks like it has water damage smash tv that's a that's a that's a winner for me I don't have smash tv but um it is a game I wanted looks like uh the front there's been um magic eraser because it's, you, you could you could just tell you know people using the wrong type of magic erasers are just overworking it it's kind of worn in the label's very water damaged. Um, we're gonna have to check and see if these things work. But yeah, condition on this one's not great. Oh yeah, the pins, there's, looks, uh, looking, looking a little nasty in there. Looking a little nasty, maybe a little corrosion. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open these things up, but um, let me see, Smash TV. What did we get? What did we get? NES, $9 complete, or not complete, loose price, $9. eBay, six bucks to see it. Okay, Smash TV, NES, $10, mm, $5, $12, $4, $10. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, this one right here, $9 nine uh you know it's floating all over the place this one that's pretty jacked up eight dollars twenty cents somebody bought it that's crazy nine dollars with labels on the label mm, this one's kind of this one's got a little bit of fluctuations there we're just gonna say uh we're gonna say seven bucks we're gonna say seven dollars on that so we're we're 37 bucks we'll just go ahead and round it up to 40. we'll just say we got 40 dollars worth just to just to kind of be fair so this is a little bit in the future from when I recorded that unboxing of that retro game treasure. And man, I went back, tested these games out, cleaned them up, all that good stuff. And I I'm, I'm, I'm more disappointed this time than I usually am. I paid for this damn thing. 
Um, you know, Vindicators, the game worked, pins were clean. I always clean the pins regardless if you tell me they were clean and I buy it from you. I always clean them myself before I put them in the system. Vindicators worked first time, good job. Goldeneye had to clean it a few times to get it working, uh, but not a big deal. It, it, the pins look great, not a problem. But Smash TV, the game that it doesn't hold a lot of value here, uh, but it's out of this box, it was the game I was more excited about. But when you looked at it and you saw that water damage, I didn't have my hopes up, man. I loved playing Smash TV when I was a kid, especially the NES version. I played other ports as well, Super Nintendo version, but the NES one I played all the damn time. I just love the game. And I don't currently have that in my small collection of games. I don't have a wall of NES games. Only other games I want to play. Smash TV is one of them I would love to have in my collection, but this is a cartridge that's just, it's not going to be kept. I'm going to have to throw it away. It, it, needs to, it needs to go see the afterlife because these fools sent this game out where it was obvious it was water damaged. You could see from the freaking label. I opened it up. Normally what I do is I take a one-up card, I clean the pins, a little bit of alcohol, and then I dry it, you know, rub it up nice. You gotta gotta rub those pins nice, uh, and then I you know I open it up and I use an eraser over the uh, the pins and I clean it again, uh, you know with alcohol on a one up card and whatnot. I don't use brass, so I know people oh, use brass. So I don't like using stuff that's gonna resurface the pins unless it's an extreme uh, you know need. And with these games, typically I don't I don't need to do any of that. My games usually will work, but in this case, this thing is just so corroded. Once I opened it. Uh, the board, the pins, there's just so much damage to this thing. It, it's the value's gone. Like, I think I said it was $7. Uh, that $7 is wiped clean from this box. We're back at about $30 value here. Um, so that's, 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 that sucks, man. These guys, they're just sending out games. They're not looking at them. They're not looking at the condition of them. I know people say, Hey, you get a game and it doesn't work or whatever. Just message them and they'll take care of it. But I don't want to go through the hassle of that. I don't want to go through the hassle of, you know, dealing with those things. That's, it should just be right to begin with. You've seen the cartridge look like a freaking mess, man. You get what you pay for. Maybe some people have better luck. These people in this video in the background here, they're all super excited, man. You'll never see one of my videos in the background of there. Well, cause I'm not partnered with these guys. So that's, that's part of it. Um, but yeah, a little disappointing smash TV, the one game I really would have wanted to play. So if you want to check this out, I know people will be like, why do you put a link if you don't like it? Man, people are interested or they're not. You don't have to click the fucking link, man. So shut the hell up. <laughs> but hey, really do appreciate you guys. Um, if I do get a refer a friend, one more refer a friend, somebody wants to risk getting water damage games, I'll get one free box and I'm going to email these guys. Like, cancel my account. Even when you get a free box, you still pay for shipping when you do the refer a friend. That's just anybody could do a refer a friend. Um, but we'll have to see what happens. Uh, this may be the last one that I do <laughs> unless I forget to cancel again. Jeez. Like I said, put a button, just click it so I can cancel it. I don't want to email nobody. Jeez. Thank you guys. And I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.